Good afternoon everybody, today we're reviewing the Fayachi V30 2MOA Red Dot with the anti-reflection device. We're trying it out on the Radical Firearms RF-15 and the ammo that we're using is the Igman 223 Remington 55 grains FMJ. Let's get to the unboxing and I'll tell you all about it and we'll get right to shooting. The Fayachi V30 has a crisp 2MOA red dot for precision aiming and both eyes open shooting. It provides two base mounting options, low profile and absolute co-witness. It features multi-coated lenses, a built-in elevation and wind adjustment tool on the end caps. It has digital push button brightness and power controls with 10 brightness intensity, 8 daylight and 2 night vision for lower light settings, scratch resistant aspheric lens for brightness and resolution, auto on and off. It powers up when it senses motion and powers off when it senses nothing in one hour. It's a 1x22mm objective lens and unlimited eye relief. The field of view is 10.7 meters at 100 yards. It's equipped with a removable anti-reflection device. It's extremely durable with an ultralight aluminum housing made of 6061 finished with durable hardcore anodization. It's certified up to 800 G's recoil impact. The weight is 142 grams or 5 ounces with the riser mount, 132 grams or 4.7 ounces with the low profile mount. Also a memorized function which means it remembers the last used brightness settings when powered on. This comes with the low riser mount. I'm going to go ahead and install the high riser mount and show you how to do this. First locate the elements that we're going to need. There's four screws on the bottom that we're going to have to replace so that we can put the high riser mount. These are small screws, so make sure you don't lose them. Pretty simple to install. Just make sure that you focus. Here's what it looks like installed. It looks really nice. The end caps make it look really premium as well. I really like how it looks. Now I'm going to show you the surprise, the real cool thing that we're going to do with this. I mounted a digital camera on this thing and it is awesome. Here's what it looks like installed. This is my favorite scope cam. This is a Canon PowerShot ELF360 HS. It shoots in 1080. I'll drop a link in the description for anyone that wants to purchase. And here's what it looks like. Let's turn on the red dot. Before I put the camera on there and show you what it looks like on first person view, I'm gonna take a shot and then I'm gonna make sure that I'm hitting. I'm gonna put a different camera over there so that you can see exactly where it's hitting a little bit further out. I hit just a little bit low, so I'm gonna take another shot just to confirm. Yep, I hit right next to it. Let's move it up a little bit. To adjust the scope, it's pretty simple. Once you take off these end turret caps, you can see that they have a little groove on the end of them. You can go ahead and find the groove. And when you find the groove, it's going to sit there nice and flush. So you can go up or down. I'm going to go six clicks up. Third shot, now we adjusted our sights six clicks up. That was almost on bullseye. I think two more clicks and we should be perfect. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like on this digital camera. Check this out. There's our target. We're roughly at 95 feet. And that's what it looks like with the anti-reflection device. Now let's turn it on and there it is right there. That's on the lowest brightness. Let's go through the brightness settings. That's two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go all the way down again. Let's take a shot right there. It's kind of hard to deal with the parallax. There's
there's our grouping right there. That's not bad. One week later. Let's get another grouping at 250 feet. We're under that tree again. I can barely see the target. I didn't realize that the grass was a little bit too high from this angle. But nonetheless, I can still see it. So let's see if it held zero after one week. Ah, that's hot. <laughs> if I'm seeing correctly, I think I hit just a little bit above the bullseye, which is actually where I was aiming because I thought it was going to be a little low. So let's try to get it right on the bullseye. Well, I'm definitely happy with these results. That's awesome. Let's take some more shots. I set up the target at 550 feet. Let's see where it's hitting. I'm confident that it's going to be on. So there are our results. So we have one, two, three, and four. That's not bad at all for that distance. When well, this optic, oh, it looks like it's thundering. It might rain. It's a beautiful day out here. This thing brought the rain. It brought the thunder. I really like this. I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos like this coming soon. And watch the rest of the videos. I have them in the playlist.